African leaders. See the money that they saw in uh, the president of Gabon's son's house. See the money in boxes that they saw in his house. Eh? No wonder the man was saying yesterday, they, they took my son, they did this one. See, see the money they, they packed in his house, in boxes. I'm sure if you come to Nigeria now, hey, all those, they are sons to them. They can money where they go get. Eh? Now, see the Senate, uh, former Senate president was running away. They caught him and they searched his boxes. Money, money, money. He was running away, running, I think, outside the country or so. As Gabon don't cast, military don't take over. What is wrong with African presidents? What is wrong with their leaders? What kind of greed? What kind of wickedness? What, what kind of, uh, as in, uh, I don't understand. Money we will use and develop your country. What? 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 All this money you put, will you go carry money and enter grave? Una go carry money enter grave. You people's greed is too much. Even the Western leaders are not as greedy as you people are. The Western leaders will come and take your own resources. They will not put it in their pockets. They will take it to their own country and develop their country, make their country to be fine. Then you people will be going there. You people will not be going there for medical care. Be going there for enjoyment. Why not those people that are coming to take your own are using the little one they are getting to develop their own? Why you will we, we, we be the dump of the natural resources? You will not use it to develop your country. They do not have this thing. Is there any uh, society you want to enter and say, on a logo one develop on a what is wrong? What does it take? See, Gabon, the, the, their population is two point approximately 2.3 million people. It's not even all like Nigeria that is uh, 200 million people. 2.3 million people. That place is supposed to be finer than Dubai with the oil money they have for where they say that three percent of people in Gabon are poor, they are poor. Why go, government go uh, do anyhow? Do anyhow? If this one reach Nigeria, all these people will carry bully, bully on van. They can't money where go there inside bully on. Are they bu bully, 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 bully. people that are close to 100 years? They are still laundering, carrying money up and down. When I go carry an enter grave, when I go carry this money, all those old people, when I go carry an enter grave, money where you go born, now you go born to ashes, ashes, nothing, nothing there inside. What is wrong with you people? Which kind of mentality be this one? Biko Kwano. The, the Western leaders are even better than you people. Eh? Because their country is developed. When I call the wrong... Oh, God. God. If you like, make could no change. If you like, make could no change. This is what they say for Nigeria. Say, uh, the military said any soldier that is not loyal should uh, leave, the, leave the army. Uh, when I call the fear... If you like, may they not do things right. It might not be today. It might not be tomorrow. But hence, the wrong things are, 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 are being done for years. One day, one day, you know, go last. This kind of thing, you know, go last forever. This is wickedness from us African leaders. Ha! That's how they ask one Arab man. Say that people are wondering how Dubai became a very big and famous city. How did they? Oh, Dubai of the other day when we were small now. When we were small, Dubai never blow the way it take blow. How did they do it? Listen to what the man said about what made Dubai be what it is today. And he was comparing it, uh, comparing Dubai's uh, resources to that of Nigerians. Let's listen. Hey! People wonder how dubai became a very big famous and rich um, city you see if you are if you're comparing with nigeria listen to this nigeria has oil before than dubai it's a history they are more rich than us they have agriculture they have mining they have everything you name it they have it am i right or wrong when you have a true leadership which we have we have nothing but we have everything because we have the right leadership that's the only thing you need a right leader for your country not corruption that's what brings your country at the top you don't need anything we don't have we want water we don't have agriculture we don't have mining 